Hi everyone, Melanie again. I want you to play a little game with me and imagine, if you will, that you are a board certified psychotherapist who has graduated with honors from Columbia and Yale University. And you have in your office a patient under deep hypnosis who you were trying to help regress back to a time when they first started feeling pains in their rib cage and having night tremors and anxiety. You're pretty sure it was when they were a little boy because that's when they said it first started happening. So you're regressing your patient back and you're asking questions like, can you tell me when you first felt this pain and where you were? Now you've had several sessions with this patient and you've been making a little bit of progress, but the patient has yet to pinpoint exactly where his pain occurred. Something's different this time though. You notice that your patient is sort of getting a little uncomfortable and, and he says, well, yeah, I'm in Pennsylvania. And you say, okay, so did you, did, did you visit Pennsylvania when you were a child? No, 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 but I'm here, I'm, I'm an adult, I'm not a kid, I'm, I'm an adult and, and I'm fighting and, and I've been hit. I've been, I've been hit with a bayonet, a bayonet. You're, this is the 1980s, and, and last time you checked, a bayonet was from Civil War era or something like that, right? Uh, how have you been hit with a bayonet? Because I'm in the war. I'm, I'm, I'm at Gettysburg. I'm fighting, and, 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 and I'm dying, and I'm worried about my family, and, I, and I'm scared. Who's going to take care of them? And, and I'm in pain, and I'm dead. I'm dead. And now I'm, I'm in the spirit world. I'm in the spirit world, and, and, and my family's here, and, and I'm happy, and my friends are here, and wait a minute. Not only are you a doctor, but you're also an atheist doctor who does not believe in the afterlife, and you can't believe what you're hearing. But this patient in front of you is physically and emotionally feeling and reliving a past life right in front of you. Not only that, but they're telling you information that they couldn't possibly have. They're relaying in a different accent, in a different voice. They're telling you they have a different name. They're telling you the name of their children and their wife. This is going on through session after session after session. And then you realize that your patient's telling you about a life before the life he just told you about. This patient has had hundreds of past lives, not just one. And every time you see him, more and more surface and more and more problems are resolved until finally one day your patient comes to you and says, hey doc, that pain in my rib cage, it's been gone since we talked about the bayonet days. And by the way, I don't have night tremors anymore because that situation in Egypt, well that resolved it. I'm great, I don't need to see you anymore, but have a good day and thanks for changing my life. So as a doctor, even though you don't believe in this stuff, you decide to research it. And in your research you discover that this stuff is researched all around the world by very valid and important people. There is proof. It's hard to find proof in scholarly journals because it's still a taboo subject. Um, many religion, religions do believe in reincarnation, however, many religions don't. And, you know, the United States is a very diverse place, and so is the rest of the world, but it's also still very small. So only certain people really talk about this stuff. However, it is becoming much more talked about in the open. Um, the Pew Research Center has reported that 24% of Americans believe in an afterlife, and 22% of Christians believe in reincarnation. Um, Dr. Ron Hubbard's research stated that 40% of his patients have been able to solve their problems through something called past life regression therapy. Now, past life regression therapy is the same thing as taking someone back into regression through hypnosis to figure out what happened in their childhood but it's beginning to have past lives surface and even lives in between lives, if you could imagine such a thing. It's happening though. The oldest research case was a woman named Shanti Devi from India, and she remembered at the age of four that she had a husband and a son in a different part of India, and she was able to tell everyone everything, every detail that she could never have known at her age. She had never been there. She didn't watch TV. It wasn't a part of her culture. And the intimate adult things that she was able to relay, the way her husband looked, her family's names, and, and private intimate moments and secrets. 
fascinating. Mahatma Gandhi took her in and paid for this research to be documented, and it's been proven, and you should watch the documentary. It's really awesome. Um, another doctor, Dr. Ian Stevenson's research did, uh, consisted of 40 years of him traveling around the world with you know, subjects that are atheists, African tribes, uh, Muslims, Buddhists, Protestants, Catholics, Christians. And out of 2,500 cases of diverse religions and people and beliefs, over half of those have had reincarnations and lives that have been proven through um, validation and facts and research. Um, trauma from past lives can be carried over and reactivated by events from your previous life. So I see that this in the future could be beneficial in helping other people uncover why they have the fears that they have, why they have the hang-ups and uh, the emotional issues, the intimacy issues, the fears of flying for no reason that just suddenly develop at a certain age, or children that are two years old speaking fluid French when they're from, uh, you know, the trailer park in Kentucky. It's amazing. Um, in 1993, Dr. Robert James took 104 healthy people, and 81 of those people reported at least one past life under past life regression therapy. So there you have it. I think it's fascinating. I wish I had more time to tell you more about it, but I'm way overboard, and I can't wait to talk more about it in my informative speech. Thank you for listening. Bye.